Hey everyone, PTL here. YouTube channel, be still on the trail. I am going to give you an overall gear review update. And I have made some changes. I'm going to put all this together and give you a base weight as well as a uh, pack weight with food and water. But I'll start out by showing you what I've got. So coming up to the top, starting with my t-shirt. I've got a Reebok t-shirt that I'm going to be using probably a lot. And a backup for that is this old red hiking shirt that I've had for many years. Still planning on using that. And I can actually wear the two of them together. I could put the red one on and then uh, throw the Reebok t-shirt over it. Both of them are nice lightweight wicking shirts, so they worked it well together. I also have the Patagonia hoodie as my mid-layer. Nice gift I just got for my birthday was this buff, gray buff. That's pretty nice. I've got these uh, redhead hiking pants with the zip-off legs. The belt is there. Again, the North Face beanie. Got a pair of uh, gloves with the fold-up mittens. Again, that's another gift. I re just received these REI mittens. They're Gore-Tex, somewhat waterproof, so hopefully uh, if it's cold and wet, those will help. And I'm going with the Frog Tog rain gear. There's the rain pants, as well as the Frog Tog rain jacket. And I've got this wide rim hat that's going to be my normal hiking hat keep the sun off my uh my head and face i hope and then i've got i'm gonna take three pair of darn tough socks i got this pair is the uh lower cut ones but they're a little thicker and i may sleep in those uh and I'm taking two pairs of regular Darn Tufts, this pair and this pair. Uh, I probably only need one, but I'm going to take both of them. And that way, uh, when one gets wet, if I want to throw another dry pair on to hike in, I can. I'm also taking these seal skin socks so that when my shoes get real wet, I can throw these dry socks on, waterproof socks. Uh, be nice getting up in the morning, being able to put those on when it's wet and cold. I've got my sandals, rubber sandals, and those are really lightweight. And so I decided to go with those for uh, in camp. I just received the Injinji socks, two pair of them. And uh, I've tried them. On a couple local hikes with both my uh, Mero Moab shoes as well as my Salomons in combination with the Darn Tufts. And I really like them. I did wear uh, one day without any other socks. And I really like these so far. So uh, I'm taking those with me. Okay, working my way across. I'm bringing three pair of underwear. One pair to sleep in. And... Uh, Two pair to wear on the trail. I just received this Carhartt shirt. It's a long sleeve. It's a mixture, mostly uh, polyester with some merino wool in it. That'll be a nice base layer if it's cold. I'll use that to sleep in unless it's really cold on the trail. And then I can use that under my Patagonia. I also have a redhead puffy that I'll be using mostly in camp. Or again, if it's really cold, then I can throw that under my other gear and 
get a little warmth, especially when I come into camp. Okay, and I have the Under Armour leggings and a pair of Under Armour shorts. A really nice pickup recently and gift was these Aegis Max booties. Those I'll be using when it's really cold to keep my feet warm. I'll put a pair of socks on and then throw those over. And from what I've heard, they work really well and keep your feet warm. I just received a couple Z Packs bags, one for the food. This one is for my clothes. So that bag will be extra protection for the clothes that I want to keep dry to be wearing at night. Again, I'm still going with the Z-Pax Duplex Tent. And to go with that, I have eight tent stakes. Two larger ones to go on my poles and the rest to go around. And those will go inside this little Sierra Designs bag unless I find a lighter one that I like. Don't have a lot of time, but that's what I'm planning on going with for now. Taking an extra pair of glasses with a little uh, cleaning cloth inside. I know I'm going to hear some on this, but I've decided to start my hike with my Mero Moabs. I know a lot of people uh, have problems with them. I've been comfortable with these. Uh, they're just a little more rugged than I think some of the trail runners. I do have a light pair of Salomon and I was going to start with those but I think I'm going to start with these. If I have any problems then I can have the Salomons uh, mailed to me but that's what I'm going to start hiking in. I just put the little tape in the back or uh, Velcro sticker because I just got these gaiters and the gators have the Velcro. They hook onto the uh, the lace of your shoe with that little clip. And then the back has the Velcro that'll hook onto that Velcro on the shoe back there. So those are pretty nice. Again, if I get into any snow in the early days, those will help keep the snow out. Or if I want to wear them the whole way, they'll keep the uh, rocks and dirt out of the going into my sh shoes and causing me to stop. I'm just going to work my way down into some of these little miscellaneous items. Again, I'm using a piece of this Reflectix for a um, seat pad. When I stop and have lunch, I can just put that down on a rock or something and sit on that. And I have this Black Diamond Spotlight Flashlight. And I have a number of carabiners I'm taking. These are real little ones. One came with my food bag, uh, Z-Pak's food bag, very light. But I have another one that's locking that I'm going to use with the food bag. So uh, I can use these light ones. One will be for hanging off the back of the pack, my, uh, my in-camp uh, sandals. And there's a little piece of rope. I'll probably replace that. That It's not too strong so I may get something a little better so uh, I don't lose those sandals but then I have other clips you know I might use them uh, if I need to clip anything else on I know I have the umbrella actually it's right here Gossamer gear umbrella and I'm, that's going to be a new thing for me but uh, I like the idea I've watched others use them and uh you know, when it's raining all day, it might be nice just to be able to sit under there as well as if I'm filming, I don't have to worry about the rain. Take some hot hands. In here is most of my hygiene stuff. There's some body glide that I'll use on my feet and any other spots that give me any chafing, some chapsticks, some uh, pain pills and uh, bug repellent. I've got some Propel in there, 
So there's a whole bunch of things. My hiking poles are the Black Diamond Trail Pro flint, flint Locks. On the bottom of the poles, I just recently received these uh, end caps, rubber end caps to put on there. So I'm giving those a try. Some more hygiene stuff. I've got these KT uh, Band-Aids. Again, mainly for blisters. I get some hot spots in certain areas of my feet. So those will come in handy if the, uh, if the body glide's not working on my feet. Toilet paper, Band-Aids. Actually, I have an extra uh, O-ring in there for my Sawyer squeeze. And a comb. Now, this is all my electronics. Right now, I'm still holding the Anchor 10,000 battery bank. And I also have to go with it. You know, I've got the battery bank, the my iPhone. I've got a GoPro with two batteries. So anyway, I was carrying this four-port charger. And it's not a fast one or anything. And then in here is all the uh, wires. Uh, there's actually a stick pick in there. There is a replacement uh, SD card for my GoPro, uh, an adapter to go from my iPhone to the GoPro or the GoPro to the iPhone. But uh, one thing I'm doing is I am replacing the battery bank. I have on order a 20,000 um, mAh battery bank um, RAV Power. It's a new model. It's supposed to be very fast charging. So that RAV Power says it'll charge in two and a half hours with the right power charger that you plug into the wall. So I did order a really good one. Uh, it's a USB-C to USB-C. And uh, it also has a USB for uh, charging other items. So when I'm charging the phone, I can go USB-C to USB-C to my GoPro and then go USB regular to uh, to my phone or, or something else. But uh, it does have fast charging on that one. And this is a little bag I have for throwing a rope up to hang my food bag and the rope inside. And here is my Bible that I'm going to be bringing, a little miniature New Testament in Psalms. That's something I'll be reading just about every day. Got to have that. That's a must for me. And I'm bringing uh, some Ziploc bags. I have some medium-sized ones and then the, the larger ones. These can be used for many things, uh, including, you know, some of the food items I get, I could actually just put in there and pour the water in because they're a little bigger if I have a big meal. So now getting into my sleepwear, the first thing I'll show you is I have a cocoon pillow, blow up pillow. And I also have a Thermarest NeoWear x light uh, air mattress and to go with that I have the Neo Air Thermarest pump sack and that'll also blow up my pillow I have the REI Magma 15 degree mummy bag even though it's a 15 degree mummy bag uh, looking at the specs it'll take you down to safely 16 degrees comfortable is more like you know high 20s so but with all my other gear on if i throw on my uh, puffy and some of the gear you know the clothes i have uh, i should be fine I've, I've had this out into the teens and uh, i was comfortable enough and i'll get through if it gets even colder i also have the cocoon silk liner Mainly to keep the inside of my sleeping bag clean. But uh, that'll add about 5 to 10 degrees of warmth. Again, for my backpack, I have the Hyperlite 
Mountain Gear uh, Wind Rider 55 liter bag. And on the front of that, I'm carrying this little rope bracelet in case I need a piece of rope in an emergency. It's on there. I can also use that to help hold the umbrella. Um, I can clip it in somewhere along on the strap here and hook it up. I also have the Hyperlite um, pouch that goes on the pack. There's some Purell in the front of it. I'll put my phone inside of there. It comes with two pouches along the waist. A lot of room in the back. You know, you got a pouch on the each side here. Put my water bottles and some other gear on this side. But a nice big sack back in here. I'll probably end up putting my tent in the back here because it'll be wet and I don't want to put it inside when it's wet. That's a nice backpack. And I have the Full Sawyer Squeeze. I tried the, one of the other ones, the Mini, I think it was, and it didn't, it wasn't long before that thing started clogging up. And uh, so I went to the regular Sawyer and it's so much faster. I know a lot of people don't like using the Sawyer uh, fill bags, but it came with two one liters. And I figure if one of those breaks, at least I have the other one to fill up with. And uh, as long as they last, you know, I got two extra liters of uh, water I can store in an emergency if I need it or if it's dry, I can carry a little extra. And this little white item here is just a compactor bag which I'm gonna put inside of my pack to keep some of my clothes and sleeping bag and sleep gear dry. So that's what that's for. Here's my new uh, Swiss Army knife. Again, a very small blade, got some scissors in there. Uh, it's got a file. Um, that's very light, so it's pretty nice. Again, carrying two smart water bottles. This little device here is the Liberty Mountain Water Bottle Bandit with a carabiner on it. That'll hook onto the uh, strap here. Go on the other side, but it'll hook on here. Makes it easy. I can just drink as I'm going. Uh, to go with that, I have this little cord. And that'll get hooked up at the lower part of the strap to tie around the bottom of that bottle. So right now I've been using this cord. But I'm going to look to see if I can get something a little lighter. But this one works if I don't find anything else. Okay, and this is my pot and cookware. I have a uh, international camping gas pot. Used to have a, a stove with it, but I don't use that anymore. I'm just using half of the double pot set. I made my own cover out of a pie plate. Keep it on with an elastic band. Inside, I have a chamois cloth. That can be used for drying things or wiping things off, as well as an MSR pocket rocket. And there's a little handle in there that hooks onto the side. That's my cook setup. And I plan on bringing two of these little canisters of gas when I'm on the trail. If I find that, uh, I'm resupplying often enough that I can get away with carrying one that I'll do that and drop one of those. I also have a bug net. I've been using matches on the trail, but I'm going to go with a bit lighter. I also bring a manual compass just in case the phone dies and I get lost. And I have this Sea to Summit Spork, which I like a lot. I bring with me a little blue bandana. Now I got this chamois in the food uh, 
in my pan. But I like to have that bandana with me too. And it came in real handy on one of my recent hikes. I bumped my head in the uh, in the lean-to and got a pretty good cut. It bled pretty good. And that's what I use to stop the bleeding. So that, that comes in real handy and can be used to wash things, dip in the river when it's hot and cool off. So that's nice to have. And here's my Z-Pax food bag. Ready to go. You can see there's a carabiner on there. This carabiner has this little plastic piece. And if you slide it all the way down, it locks this clip and it won't open up. And you don't want that to open up if you're doing the PCT method of hanging your, your bear bag. You don't want that clip to open up. Because if it does and your stick slides through there, you're never going to get it down from the tree. So that's a nice uh, safety feature. A little bit heavier than the one that came with it, but I think it's worth it to have that locking mechanism. So something else I wanted to let you know before I finish up is that something that uh, will probably help me before I leave. I got a little over 60 days to go, 65 days to go before I leave. And as I was pulling all the gear out, I made an itemized list um, in Excel of all this stuff, put in the weights of everything. And so what I'm going to do is add all those weights up and then take it all, put it in my pack and see if I come out close to what I'm expecting. And uh, But that's the gear I'm taking. Might have a few small changes. Definitely a change on my battery pack. And maybe a few small changes on some of the lines I'm using. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Okay, so I'm ready to uh, give the tally on my base weight and my backpack with food and water. Right now I'm looking at a base pack weight of 16 and a half pounds, which is lower than, way lower than I started with. So I'm pretty happy with that. So with... Food and water, uh, two liters of water and about five days of food, I'm looking at a total pack weight of 29 pounds. So that's pretty good. You know, on days where I can go to three to four days of food, that'll be a little less. So I'm pretty happy with where I'm at.